Hello, all you gorgeous kings and queens. Thanks for joining me. This is Rise and Shine, where we read, do readings for your soul's evolution. So um, let's look at our charms for today. First, oh, goodness, okay, we have the frog once again. And we've got a happy face. And our last charm, we have a little monkey. So choose the frog, the happy face, or the monkey. Those all seem fairly uplifting this week, so that's kind of exciting. And know that whenever you find this reading, it will apply to you and your life. And um, I hope that it helps you on your journey. Please feel free to leave me any comments, subscribe, give me a like below. Um, all of that stuff is going to be helpful and important for me as I get established on YouTube. So, um, okay, frog reading is first. And for you guys, okay, wow. I, this is a tough week, okay, and I'm sorry, I know this is, uh, this is a lot going on right now for you, but obviously this is here to support you. We've got a lot of challenge, um, but it's also really critical that you begin to make some change in your life. And so I want you to be available and open to that. Um, we've got, you know, if you're female, I definitely feel like you're at a point in your life where um, you might be struggling as a parent, you might be struggling uh, with work. There's definitely, you're not in this leadership position that you thought you would see yourself in. There's not the confidence there. There's not the material stability here right now. Um, you can also be dealing with a mother or a, another female figure in your life. Um, you know, especially if you're male. So, um, but we've got Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And um, I will say there's no, there's no smile here. There's no expression of joy. It's very flat. Um, she's got a very rebellious nature in this case. And I feel what should n normally be nurturing, healing energy feels like it's, um, particularly challenging and actually a little bit toxic right now. So, you know, I want you to think about the decisions that you're making in your own life um, or in regards to this other person. Um, you know, if it's not you, do you really need to be around this person? Is it time to set some boundaries around them? Um, is it time to set boundaries around yourself? Uh, a very important factor in that. Um, also, you know, we have the frog who needs water um, to, to live and thrive and reproduce. He needs a lot of moisture, um, but he is an amphibian. He lives both in and out of water, uh, very flexible ab ability to jump over hurdles and obstacles in the way, um, can, can jump, can swim, can, uh, you know, walk on the land. So a lot of good things that kind of come out of this um, with your ability to adapt to the situation around you. And that's one of the things I want you to think about is how adaptable are you being? You might be being too adaptable. Sometimes we adapt so much, especially as women, we constantly adapt to the men in our lives or the people in our lives to be in service, to help them. And then we're not getting anything back in return and then we're resentful and bitter. So I want you to think about, are you being overly adaptable or do you need to adapt more? I definitely feel like you need to make change um, uh, to better yourself, to be more fulfilled. Um, in your work life, um, you're not making enough money here. Uh, and if there was a bonus or something, I feel like that's been on hold or on delay, or there was a promotion that was not offered to you that you were hoping for. Um, financially, this isn't, you're not gonna be able to make it in this job. So it's either getting a second job with that or just looking for a job where you make somewhat more money. Um, you know, new jobs are scary. We have to take on new challenges. We don't know if we're gonna, if it's gonna work out. Um, I took a, a job for more money once and the culture was horrible for me. Um, I finally made enough, enough to live on, but I was miserable. So, you know, sometimes um, we stay where we are out of familiarity. Um, I couldn't stay there. It, no matter what the money was, I, <laughs> it just wasn't gonna fit. Um, but know that there's always other options and our economy right now is desperate to hire people. So 
Um, there's a lot of op other opportunities that I think you can look into rather than feeling stuck. Um, in your personal life, I feel like you don't know what to do there. Um, you are holding on to ideals about your relationship that really um, are very traditional but they're not working. And it, that's a real big ju juxtaposition in our society right now because, you know, in some ways we still think like a 1950s housewife or a 1950s couple that the women are supposed to cook and clean and make dinner and have everything perfect for the man when he gets home, but now everybody's working full time. So really that strategy isn't gonna work anymore. And everything has to be conquer and divide. Um, and I feel like you don't know how to, how to instigate change in your relationship. You're needing him to step up. You're need, I feel like you're taking on too much. And, and he lets you because, hey, why not? I mean, I would let you if somebody else would do it. Hey, great. Um, and, but with that, and now I'm thinking about it, um, if he steps up to do something, you don't get to complain about it. You know, you just have to be appreciative. Um, you can demonstrate once, but we cannot nag. It's like, no, I really want the dish, ta the towels folded this way, or the dishes done this way. You know, we gotta pick our battles. Do we be grateful for, that they are helping out? Even if it's not our way, we have to be willing to, to let them be them, our partner to be who they are and not be controlling. Um, so, you know, take a step back, um, and I feel like you need to not try to control the situation so much as well, which is also interesting, um, because I think he is more likely to stand up if he feels like he can, um, but you, there's a little bit of a, a struggle here, um, and I say this as if you're female, um, or your partner is male, uh, uh, but it, it can certainly go the other way around. So please um, know that my genders, you can flip flop it however you need. Uh, I'm looking at a deck that is predominantly females. And in fact, all the kings are women in this, but that's what came up as the deck to use today. Um, okay, now internally, your spiritual inside said, oh my God, this has to end. I absolutely cannot do this anymore. I am imploding. And um, you know what? That's actually great. It is time for change. And you need to like kind of blow up your life a little bit. And I don't, I mean that figuratively, not um, don't go and do anything drastic. Um, but I'm looking at the tower card for your spiritual realm and this is inevitable change. It's change that's a long time coming. It takes divine influence um, and it takes your willingness to make that choice to get uncomfortable to go through this. Um, you've been waiting long enough, so it's definitely time for you. Okay, so um, that is our frog people. Now let's jump ahead and move into our happy face uh, for this week. Uh, we all appreciate a good smiling face. And it's interesting, these are all sort of cute little happy charms and our first reading was tough, so let's see if they're all tough. Um, but we'll see what we have for our smiling faces this week. Okay. And if you guys have anything you want me to focus on um, on YouTube, just let me know. Please feel free to shoot me a message or comment below. I'm always happy to kind of dive into what interests you. All right, so, okay. So, happy face. Um, it's not all bad. This is actually kind of interesting for you. Um, you do seem ready to go into a new direction in your life. So very open to, um, like, I'm just ready for change. I don't care if I don't know what to expect. I'm just like going to go forward with it. And, um, so that's a really interesting and, and kind of beautiful place for you to be. And it's an interesting image though, because we do have a wall here and, um, and she's, she's resting behind the wall. So I want you to think about what are you blocking yourself in a little bit because 
I generally see this as a very positive card, but this image feels a little bit held back. Um, so allow yourself to move forward if that's what you wanna do. Um, and, and do it without having regrets. Um, I think that's what the wall is, this idea of regret or the unknown. It's like, no, just, just go for it. Um, you know, really, we're not gonna screw up. We're just gonna try something different and see how it works. So that's how life is. Um, now, in your work life, this, I feel like you're not being heard there. I feel like you're having a hard time using your voice and speaking up for yourself. I'm not sure this is a really good environment for you right now. It feels like your work um, can be disappointing um, and, and, and sometimes even depressing. I don't know if you're, if you're working with people and it's a sad situation like uh, working in the ER or the trauma center or something like that. Um, but I see some sadness tied in here um, and, and this feeling for you that maybe things aren't gonna get better. Um, but what I think is that you're having a breakthrough on understanding what's good and not good for you. And I, I think this is a really important aspect of your career that you need to be paying attention to, paying attention to because I feel like this could be a really good point for you to make some pivotal change. Your smiley face, I feel like you always put on a happy face for other people, but I don't necessarily think that you feel that way in your job. Um, your personal life seems really good. It's comfortable, it's confident, it feels stable. Um, if you're in a partnership, I feel like there's a lot of great stability with your partner. Um, and they seem to be uh, thriving in their work area and also uh, uh, just comfortable and relaxed and in, in some ways good at supporting you um, where you're at like maybe not emotionally but with financial stuff it's like it's okay we're gonna be all right you don't need to worry so there's some real positivity that comes out of here um, if you are single right now though one of the things that I want you to honor is um, I could see you being ready for a partnership and being ready to settle down and, be and begin to look at having a family um, you've got confidence and I, and I even feel like your sensual nature feels really open to me right now. Um, so that's, that overall looks really good. Um, for you yourself internally in your spiritual realm coming from within, um, I feel like you've got a lack of trust. You are not trusting yourself to support you. And one of the things I feel here is that there is some inner child work that you need to do. And um, because it's almost like that inner child, the part of you that got damaged sometime years ago in, in, your, in your childhood, um, learned not to trust yourself. Um, or that you could make the right a good enough decision about what you wanted and I mean, you know Our parents don't mean to screw up But sometimes they make decisions for us that they think is the best decision for us and we're like internally We're like, okay, mommy and daddy picked this so it must be right um, But we don't want to do it. We didn't you know, go to summer camp, whatever it was um, eat the peas um, and so here I feel like that's tying back into your career. And it's like, you need to trust you right now. You need to talk to your child self and say, look, I love you and we've got this, but let me be the adult and let me make the decision on this because you know, your fear is holding us back right now. And, and I've got this, I can, I can figure this out for us, I'll take care of you. So have that little dialogue with your inner self and, um, and go forward. You know, inherently, I need you to trust you to move forward. And I think when we started with that Eight of Cups, which is usually to me so fearlessly moving forward, you've put a wall here because you gotta get around you. And, um, I, and I really think you can do that. So 
I, and I know, I do feel like you probably make decent money here, and that's part of the thing is being afraid of letting go of that, but there's always other opportunities. So be open, this is a good economy to find a job right now. So, um, all right guys, I hope that helped you out, Miss all our smiley faces. And let's take a look at our monkeys. All right, monkey people, let's see what we've got for you all today. Okay, so, um, and he is a seated monkey, so he's already comfortable. Okay. Well, you got some stuff going on, and on the solo level, you've definitely got some pivotal change here. So, I feel like you don't know where to begin with things, and it's like you're not even sure what you can manifest or what you need to manifest. Um, and some of you are worried that somebody is doing something against you. Like I know that if people reach out sometimes and they're like, hey, is someone using black magic against me and that kind of thing. And I'm like, I doubt it. Most people don't really care enough about you <laughs> to do something harmful towards you. But do know that, you know, when when we put that negativity out there, if we have road rage and we find ourselves screaming at the car in front of us for cutting up, cutting us off, you know, that does put energy towards them. That also, we are the first person to receive that hateful energy. So, you know, if somebody is doing something ugly towards you or you're afraid of that, know that they are getting twice as much of that on themselves. So you know, try not to stress about that too much. Um, and I want you to know that you are capable of manifesting and creating what you want in your life. Um, I just, I, I, you feel like um, you're torn and that, and maybe there might be some levels of self-worth self in here that you're questioning. Um, so one of the blessings of the magician is the ability to channel God's energy through you. So I want you to take a moment and just let that, you know, when you're done with your reading, um, take a moment of silence and let the divine energy of God just come into you and be, you know, open yourself up and say, okay, God, what do I need to see here? What is the message you have for me? And just be open and focus on your breathing and relax and see what comes through because there might be something there that can really help you to just go, ah, oh, okay, I've got this. Um, work, there are definitely some social challenges for you. Um, if you're romantically involved with work, I feel like that's got its own issue and that kind of comes in between you um, just in situation. If you're not romantically involved, there's definitely a sense of disharmony in the work environment. And I want you to make a decision about what you really want there. Um, can you do this job? Do you wanna do this job? Are you tied into a relationship at this work that is no longer serving you in a positive way? So um, sometimes relationships become toxic or draining for us. Um, you know, we can get into weird codependencies and weird ways in which we're wanting acknowledgement from a, another person, but also feeling resentful at the same time. And I feel like this is that kind of weirdness happening here. Now, also, there's just some of you, though, that probably need to expand and you've been afraid to expand and grow beyond what this job is defined. But I do think it's time for that. Um, and the monkey, you know, such a flexible creature really gives you the ability to climb through the trees and get through the jungle and over the mess of this job and get into something that does feel exciting for you. Um, your personal life, there's some newness here that feels really good. Some of you might be um, dealing with children. It's really positive. Um, some of you are also going to be uh, looking at a new relationship or perhaps dating someone that is new and there's excitement and enthusiasm with that. Um, there's a very gentle nature to this particular uh, page of swords and so I feel like it's, um, 
it's sweet and there's not a rush and it's like okay we're just gonna enjoy this moment with this person um, and if you are single it's being open um, open to learning new things open to um, perhaps someone coming into your life but also not feeling like you need to define all that because the minute we start defining things then we're not open anymore so um, it's being the student rather than the master and I love this kind of receptivity for you because I think that's where real growth can come in for us um, okay and then spiritually for you um, I do feel like you've got a sense of confidence and um, understanding of where you are in your spiritual realm and that monkey gives you this ability to be really diverse plus I feel like um, there's this kind of fiery enthusiasm and you're willing to explore and expand and just see where the spiritual realm takes you um, so whether that's through meditation or yoga or even just a walk in nature it's like okay let's see what's going on here and see what happens for us um, I definitely feel like you've got an openness there and you also have a sense of things that you already understand and a sense of confidence in that that seems really important and significant so the real hang-up definitely seems to be in the work environment and maybe what the decision that you need to make about that because I think there's a real sense of like I'm not sure I'm ready to change or leave this situation um, but if you choose to stay then the growth will be coming in how you manage that um, because this is part of your spiritual challenge and you either need to learn to manage it more effectively in a way that's really positive for you or you need to cut your losses and move on from it so okay so those are our readings for this week i appreciate you tuning in um, if you guys are interested in learning to row from me, I am now hosting a class. It is in person, so we're over here in da Dallas, Texas. Um, it is going to be four Saturdays in a row um, starting in July. So uh, if you want to find out more, please uh, check out my website at tarotdallas.com. Um, and I'm also going to be uh, hosting solutions classes, so um, you know how you can evolve on your soul's journey. And that's it for this week, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.